Okay, so last week we talked about encoding, and this week we're going to be talking about bitrate, because your network has a lot to do with how your stream gets uploaded to the internet. We'll be discussing some issues that might arise from bitrate, whether you be dropping frames, maybe you see some pixelation, that sort of stuff. So let's begin the operation. I like to think of my bitrate as the size of my stream. It's how much data your PC or your device or whatever is pushing out every single second. If you try to push out more than what your internet can handle, you're going to start dropping some frames. And you can see those at the bottom of OBS or slobs or whatever you're probably using. I'll talk in another video about how to determine the best bitrate and encoding settings. So in this video, we're just kind of going over the basics. So for example, if you're going to stream at 2,500 kilobytes per second, you're pushing out two and a half megabytes of data every single second, which means that your audience also has to be able to download that two and a half megabytes every single second. If they're not able to download it, then it's going to start buffering for them. At which point, if you have transcoding options, I would remind your viewers to lower the resolution. But like I said before, if you are unable to upload at two and a half megabytes per second, when you, when you set that as your bit rate, you're going to start dropping frames. I'm going to give you another beautiful little demonstration here, a little visualization, if you will. Okay, so here at the top, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Your stream is supposed to be able to fit inside this tube. Okay, and if it can fit all the way, then you're good. You don't have any problems. You're not going to have any drop frames or anything like that. However, down here on the bottom, this is what happens if you do drop frames. Okay, this is what happens when your internet can't handle your bit rate. So basically, as you can see, the ball here is split up, right? Only only two little pieces got in here, right? And you see here, these pieces didn't make it in. Your audience don't even see those pieces. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about pixelation. Sometimes during fast movement, your stream can get a little pixelated. But basically, when you're setting your bit rate, you are predetermining how much your internet is, or I'm sorry, your PC is going to be pushing out how much data that is, right? And so in a, in a sense, you're kind of limiting that. Now, why you might get pixelation is because during those times of fast movement and everything, what is going on is that you, you, you have too many pixels, too much data that you're, that basically OBS is going to lower the quality of that data or the pixels so that it can meet that limit and not exceed it. This is why things like increasing your bitrate are usually the best solutions for that, simply because what you're doing is you're increasing the limit of data that your device is going to be pushing out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it and you learned something, go ahead and hit that thumbs up to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of cool content coming out within the next month and it's going to be awesome. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to hit that sub button. If you ever want to talk about anything, I uh, do stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And if you feel like talking with any other streamers or some viewers, uh, I do run a group called Streamer Knots. We are simply just a group of streamers and viewers that love to talk and get to know each other uh, we're not a lurking community we're not one of those you know join a group and you'll and you'll grow real fast no we're not one of those have a wonderful day or night wherever and whenever you are and as always stay crazy we don't we don't need you i don't need you in my life i guess that's one way to take care of the enemy